In the heart of Rome, amid the hustle and bustle of modern life, the Roman Colosseum stands as a testament to a time when gladiators, emperors and roaring crowds were the order of the day. This massive amphitheatre, inaugurated in AD 80, was a marvel of engineering, an architectural feat that epitomised the might and grandeur of the Roman Empire. Imagine, if you will, stepping into the Colosseum on a typical day of games. The air is thick with anticipation, a palpable electricity that crackles through the crowd. The Colosseum is a sea of people, a gathering of 50,000 Romans from all walks of life. The wealthy patricians take their seats in the lower tiers, while the plebeians, the common folk, find their places higher up. Slaves, foreigners and women are relegated to the highest tiers. The cheap seats, if you will, far from the action but still part of this grand spectacle. The games begin with a procession, a grand display of Rome's power and wealth. Gladiators parade around the arena, their armour gleaming in the harsh sunlight, their faces stoic and unflinching. Trained animals from the far reaches of the Empire are paraded around, a testament to Rome's reach and influence. The crowd roars as the battles begin. Gladiators clash, their weapons ringing out in the silence that follows each cheer. This is life and death, victory and defeat, played out in the dust and sun of the Colosseum. Amid the spectacle, the crowd is more than mere spectators. They are participants, their cheers and jeers guiding the fate of the gladiators. Emperors too are part of the spectacle, their thumbs up or thumbs down deciding the fate of a fallen warrior. As the sun sets and the games come to an end, the crowd pours out of the Colosseum, their hearts pounding, their voices hoarse from cheering. They have been part of something larger than themselves, a spectacle that embodies the power, the brutality and the grandeur of Rome itself. The Colosseum and its games were more than just entertainment. They were a reflection of Roman society, a mirror that revealed its values, its hierarchies and its power dynamics. They were a tool of social control, a way for emperors to assert their authority and for the masses to feel part of the empire's grand narrative. Today the Colosseum stands silent, its walls echoing with the ghosts of gladiators and the roars of long-dead crowds, but its legacy lives on, a reminder of a time when Rome ruled the world and the games were the ultimate spectacle. The Colosseum, in its grandeur and brutality, its spectacle and tragedy, remains a symbol of the Roman Empire, a testament to a civilization that in its time was the centre of the world. Have you ever pondered what it would have been like to step foot into the Roman Colosseum during the height of its glory? Imagine the deafening roar of the crowd, the palpable excitement in the air, the anticipation of the spectacle about to unfold. As you approach the magnificent structure, the first thing that hits you is the sheer scale of it. Towering high above you, the Colosseum stands as a testament to the might and grandeur of the Roman Empire. The structure, capable of seating over 50,000 spectators, is a marvel of ancient engineering. Entering the Colosseum, you're immediately swept up in a sea of people. All walks of life are represented here, from the highest patrician to the lowest plebeian. The Colosseum is a melting pot where social class is momentarily forgotten in favour of shared excitement. You take your place in the stands, the stone beneath you worn smooth by countless spectators before you. Despite the vast crowd, there's a sense of order, a testament to the Romans' love of organisation and efficiency. As the games begin, the Colosseum comes alive. The roar of wild beasts echo off the stone walls. The clash of gladiatorial steel sends a shiver down your spine. The spectacle is both thrilling and terrifying, a stark reminder of the brutality of life in ancient Rome. But the games are not just about blood and gore. They are a celebration of Roman culture and power, a demonstration of the empire's wealth and influence. The variety of the spectacles is staggering. From exotic animal hunts to naval battles, the Colosseum offers a plethora of entertainment. As the sun sets and the final cheers fade away, you leave the Colosseum with a newfound appreciation for the spectacle you have just witnessed. It's an experience that is simultaneously exhilarating and sobering, a stark reminder of the grandeur and brutality of the Roman Empire. In summary, attending the games at the Roman Colosseum would have been an experience like no other. 
The sheer scale of the spectacle, the variety of the entertainment and the raw emotion of the crowd would have made it an unforgettable experience. But it was also a stark reminder of the brutality and inequality of Roman society, a spectacle designed to awe and intimidate as much as to entertain. So next time you find yourself marvelling at the ruins of this ancient structure, take a moment to imagine what it would have been like to attend the games. It's a fascinating glimpse into a world that is both alien and strangely familiar. A world that continues to captivate us more than two millennia later.